Every now and again, a brother gets to talk about something that he liked, and today is that day. Last night I finished watching Jupiter's Legacy. This was recommended to me by my dad, who doesn't like anything. He's one of those geeks that only likes the genre from back in the day. Nothing to nothing in today's realm. But he hit me up, and he said that this show was actually good. When dad says something is good, that's new, I have to take a look at it. So I did. Now I'm not going to say this show was a 10, but it was definitely better than a lot of the garbage that we've been getting. In a world where uh, Lando Calrissian is now gay... And they're, they're celebrating his gayness uh, in a world where the Bad Batch is, is, needs to be it's whitewashed. It needs to be... Look, Disney Star Wars is awful. Uh, but in a world where we have terrible, terrible entertainment... Not even, they're not even entertainments anymore. They're, they're platform-tainments. They're not, they're not used to, for escapism. They're used to tell, preach to us and divide us and tell us how awful we are and preach far-left and extremist nonsense at us. This show doesn't. Now, it does have a diverse cast. No problem with that. The story came first. It wasn't about diversity. It wasn't about preach. I didn't really hear any preachiness in there. It was like there was a moment or two. But I think that sometimes, because we have been so inundated with woke bullshit from Hollywood, that we tend to look for it. I was able to put that aside because the story was good. It was legit. Uh, like I said, it's, I, I'm not going to give it like a 10. It wasn't like ultra wonderful, great, uh, the best storytelling that I've ever seen. Uh, that is left for Lord of the Rings. But the characters setting was really good. I suggest you watch it. I honestly do. I think that it's a really good watch. It's escapism. Not only that, it also weaves in different narratives that existed in real world time. Uh, from like the, the depression era forward. It kind of has, it has two different stories that run parallel to one another. The present day, which is a century after these heroes have gained their power. And when, during the time of the Great Depression, when they first got them, really cool settings. I, I love alternate earth history pieces. I enjoyed seeing depression era furniture, clothing, looks. It was, it was beautiful. Well done. I believe that all the actors came in clutch on this. The main character, Utopian, is, for lack of a better reference, a Superman character uh, who is very concerned with morality, very concerned with what he calls the code. Not killing and not governing, which is a great idea if you have superpowers because you don't want to become a dictator. The show has many elements that you could relate to things that are happening today, one of the lines that Utopian uses, and I really believe it didn't seem like it, and you don't need to read into this, but it was a dig at the far left right now, was um, he was referencing Nazis. So the Nazis have come back, and whatever, the, and, and the person he was talking to, so whatever they call themselves, he go, whatever they call themselves, they're still Nazis. And, and that's the damn truth of it. Fascists are fascists no matter what. We see that reflected in our entertainments today and how they're presented to us, not as escapism, but as platforms. Didn't have to worry about that in this show. At least I didn't. And if you're a person who enjoys a diverse cast, like if that's what you look for, if you're looking, if you, that you're going to find it here. One of the many reasons why I would tell you to watch this is because currently on Rotten Tomatoes, which is a sold out shill site, basically run by Disney, the, the tomato meter is at 39%. So the critics say it's awful. While the audience is 74%. We all know what this means when the critics say that it's garbage and the audience says that it's good then you know it's really good. One of the reasons why I still go to Rotten Tomatoes is to see what the shills are saying. What, 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 is, what does the industry say? What, what is the approved opinion of the bigots working in the industry? The approved bigots think that this is only a 39%, which means it's great. It's, it's probably it's not woke. It doesn't have agenda in it. Unlike, you know, the most protected movie of all time, Captain Marvel, where you have a 79% on the tomato meter, audience is like, nah, this is garbage because it was woke. And let's not forget one of the most garbage films of all time, The Last Jedi, 90% on the tomato meter because it was just that awful. 42%? Questionable. 42%? Probably lower than that from the audience. Honestly, I don't want to get into spoilers or any kind of spoiler reviews. 
One of the things I don't like about dropping an entire season at once is that you don't have time to review it. This is actually a show that I would have reviewed episode by episode. I found it to be entertaining. The escapism was there. I didn't feel like I was in the real world. I was not being preached to at any point. The characters were, some of which were annoying, some of which were fun, all of which were escapism. And that's what we need right now. I've always been of the mind is if something's good, we got to praise it. Doesn't matter where it comes from, what platform it's on, or who made it. This was a decent show. I recommend Jupiter's Legacy. The only is the only the only thing I take issue with. The only thing I take issue with on this show is the way that season one ended. I don't really want to go too much into that, but it seemed like a bit of uh, it did it was it wasn't it wasn't as grand as I would have liked. The show built you up though the the journey that you take with these characters the questions of morality uh you know to kill or not to kill which seems to be the main focus of this story questions like when does having too much freedom become a hindrance to society i enjoyed it very much i hope that you take the time to check it out please let me know if you've already watched it in the comments below what you thought i thought the story arc of utopian was uh what was it, it felt like it felt like superman in a way to me and as far as what is ethically right what is ethically sound uh it, it definitely borrows heavily from your classic superhero shows also like the sh another show that i recently watched invincible which i'm going to be covering later on my son turned me on to that one and we started watching it and i thoroughly enjoyed that one so please check out jupiter's legacy let me know in the comments below what you thought about it uh if you've seen it if you plan on seeing it i do recommend it also invincible definitely recommend seeing that but i'll be talking about that in a later video uh guys thank you so much for stopping by please hit the subscribe button if you would wash your hands wash your ass be good to each other peace